Hey everybody, how goes it? My name is Jamor, and welcome back to the quarry. We're here with Captain Laura, the pirate. I'm gonna snoop around a police station. See if there's anything here in the open. For, for, for. There's an upstairs. Locked. Figures. And I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. I mean, you have all night. Not a door to check. Tarot card? No. What are you hiding, Travis? Bizarre yet bona fide. Stop investigating Hackett's quarry. Interesting. Now this is his office. I see hikers, cats, dogs, freak show and flames. Dan Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. Something tells me the freak show had the original Werewolf. I don't want to mess with the computer just yet, I don't think. If I can get unstuck from this. Well, I can't look at that anyway. Hello? Interesting. Is this going to be a... Is this going to be a Freddy Krueger type deal? Where like the Hackett's are the big family in the area and they burn down the freak show and some gypsy lady cursed them? Not so much a hint as a slap in the face. find his birthday. Upstairs we go. Fuck. I'm gonna need to rest soon.
This must be what he used to knock me out. I can hide this in my cell. Why? I mean, I know why, but... It's pretty obvious there's something going on here. July 7th? That smile. There's gotta be a tarot card in here somewhere. Well, there's absolutely nothing to look at. Computer's the last thing I go lay down. I still hear them. Very faint, like somebody's talking right outside. Fuck yeah. search of answers and fell victim to the mercy of the hag of Hackett's quarry, never to be seen again. Like us. Except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah 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 part. We're, we're more like, um, ghost investigators? Spectre sleuths? Sure. So, what happened next? Well, according to reports from the local paper, the North Kill Gazette, some hay bales caught fire during the opening night, and that spread quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady and her alleged fate. Okay. Jump scare? Spooky. Yeah, hey, trophy. Okay, time to lay down. I've exhausted this and myself. 
You need to sleep. Don't turn that way this way. Just in case. I found everything, I think. I'd be shutting that cell door just in case he gets out of his. Tell me what happened. I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. Me too. Happy? Brew some coffee. What's this? An education. Watch. Nice job cleaning up. Yeah, I... I mean... It's harder than they make out in the textbooks. Especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor. And no, I'm not. And I probably never will be. Stuck in here forever. You know... Just because you know, doesn't mean you know. You know? Mm -hmm. Uh... What? I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family, we didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. We're going to end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. So, how is your family involved? My family... ...is down at the bottom of a well. What? Family is the most important thing in the world. But if your whole family, you know, like... Every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of a well, and they're all just... 
hanging on the end of a rope. How can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. I'm you so pull confused. on that rope and you just can fall right down to the bottom of the well with the rest of them. And what's the point of that? Right, so you... You're the one at the top of the well with the rope? And... Yes. I thought that was obvious. <laughs> okay, yeah, I got it. Forget it. Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver and the first, when moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Okay, self-explanatory. Yeah. Typical werewolf stuff. Keep reading. No, I'm gonna take the gun. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. <laughs> but it's all we have to go on. Kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver, it has to be full moon. <clears throat> Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big F. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think. If you knew all this, why didn't you just kill it in the storm shelter when you had the chance? It's not so, I, mean, I, I was, when I- Straightforward? No, yeah, it's so not, you... they're not so easy to hit. I was trying to protect you too. So what's the plan? Well, that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. Me? Yeah. Because your studies. I haven't even started. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter, because maybe there's another way. Whatever you believe, there's got to be some science. And you do science. Mm -hmm. Look, take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. Soon enough. Typical werewolf stuff. Silver, the one that bit you to cure yourself. Full moons. If I remember correctly, that's the difference between a werewolf and a wolf man. I don't think I'd believe a word he just said wolf if I hadn't seen it any time. If I hadn't seen that.
Well, considering one him. took your eye out, I'd expect you to believe him. You can't him. tell me you really trust that guy now. I didn't say that. I said I believe him about the werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. He's a dirty line kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says. He's not the one that gouged my eye out. Well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye. Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. So I already see what they're doing. They're trying to get her help to find a way it to trank them. Because it's their family and you. friends that are turning. And they're still trying to hunt the original. But it was. To end it all. We're gonna fix you, Max. I promise. I promise. I don't know why they killed. I know they're in there. Ooh. Help them. Go up. Bobby said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Why? Why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here? That's fucked up. Fucking get rid of him, Chris. That's what the post did. What was that? So Chris bit him. You got me. I'm telling Mom. Thank you lucky stars <laughs> wasn't so What's your plan? You can't keep them here forever. Anyway, maybe if you'd done your job, they wouldn't have been at the camp that night. You ever think of that? If I'd have done my job, you'd all be in prison. You ever think of that? That was all Bobby and Caleb. Are those know. hikers? That, that, that fucking journalist? Damn it, Travis. What are we gonna do now? Whatever happened to you, we're all in this together. Shouldn't talk here. Max. Uh. Max. Uh. What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking. The cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit! That's. Who would have guessed? I mean, I guess, thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother. God, it's so obvious. If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... You gotta yeah, kill that's him. that's our cure. That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Tomorrow, we're getting out of here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. That's not how... You know that's not how it works. You need to kill him with hey, silver on hey. a full moon. Help her! Laura needs help! Uh. Laura! <laughs> Laura, are you okay? God damn it. What the hell is going on? Laura!
Got him. Fuck. I didn't choose anything. Give me that shit. <laughs> Starting to think you were really sick. Well, maybe I should consider acting as my major. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. We should go before he wakes yeah. up. So what's the plan exactly? Hang out with the werewolf guy until the full moon make your own silver bullets and then find out which werewolf is Chris and kill him? While hoping boyfriend wolf doesn't tear her apart. We should grab our stuff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. What is it? I thought I heard someone. I'm right, aren't I? I still can. It's coming from behind that door. I'm right. There's nobody in here. What the fuck? I was right. The Hackett family he burned down the freak them. show. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month, hunting. Nasty burn on her arm. Well, I guess he won't be needing this anymore. Hey. I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> right. No, Max. We're not free until Chris Hackett is dead. And it doesn't look like we've got much time. I know, you're right, but... Let's just take the win for now, huh? We'll celebrate when it's over. Yeah. We're going straight to Hackett's quarry, and we're ending this. Tonight. It doesn't work that way. You're forgetting that the, he has to be a werewolf when you kill him. Which means Max is going to be a werewolf at the same time. Camp left Max at the island. Seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. Oh, that was Max That's in it. there. That's the story. Or should we just running with them? Jump in at the same time. Wait, the island, like like our island, like the one in the lake. Yeah, why? Because Jacob, he went back there looking for Emma, and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh, shit. Well, if they were there, they're not there now. What's that supposed to mean? Don't make me spell it out for you. I've just come back from there, and there's one werewolf and no people. Oh, fuck. All I know is I have to do this. I have to kill Chris Hackett before it's too late. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris.
Chris. I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. But... It wasn't Chris. Where'd you get the eye patch and fingerless gloves? Where'd her gun go? And he was locked out of the cabin. Max? Which means he's still wandering around. Max! Max? Hello? There he is. Ah, kind of reminds me of the... Their mouth reminds me of From Dusk Till Dawn. One of the monsters had him out like that. I guess permanently open teeth. I, I, I. I love the way their faces look. It's really creepy. Kind of funny, but really creepy. The music doesn't fit. Look at him. <laughs> Tongue's always out. How can it make the howl noise without lips? So the werewolf I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Haley Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless, I, I guess... It turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you? He tried. I got away. I need to end this. We don't have much time. No shit. Hey, new character. Dumb fucking animal. Let me go! Let me fucking go! Get your hands off me! Please let me go! Okay? It hit me for this to happen, please! Please! Oh my god, why aren't you answering me? Oh, 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 is your, is your money that you want? Cause, cause my dad's got money. There's lots of it. Are you, I mean, not really, but you could get some, probably. <laughs> you just let me go, please. I'm so sorry. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
Damn. He's walking on that foot pretty good. That's too, Bobby. Not really. Hey! Hey! Hey, where are you going? Hey! Hey! So the one that got strung up was Nick? Question mark? Watch that fence. The tongue. The music does not fit. They like really want this whole uh like you know, use the whack, you? poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Don't believe everything you hear. Anyway, here we are again. Let's see what you've brought me this time, shall we? Nothing There's another show, voice in the background. To see. What more do you want me to say? Find the cards or stumble around in the dark. Choice is yours. I tried. You'll be seeing me a few more times before the I can't tell what it's over. saying. I look forward to that. As long as you follow the right path, of course. It's one of those ah, yeah, ah, yeah, kind of voices. I hope I picked it up on the mic. It's one of those really weird whispery voices, like ASMR crap. I don't get like most ASMR. I get like the satisfying Where is things. Chris Hackett? Shut up. But like the people whispering God, she and murdered Kaylee. touching microphones. Uh, Caitlin, what do I do? Oh wow, real strong showing on the leadership front. I said shut up. <laughs> Oh, no way. I am not getting involved. This is all you, buddy. But just think about everything that's happened tonight, okay? That's all I'll say. Hold up. You, you said you heard a woman crying when you escaped? Why? What do you know? It's the ghost story he told us about, right, Caitlin? This isn't a ghost story. It's a creature feature. It's really happening, and you're all in it. Your bracelet. What are you doing? I'm trying to help. Worst case scenario, this should give you a fighting chance. And this will kill them? For good? Yeah. But what if it's Nick or someone? Like I said, worst case scenario. Oh, use your... Brian, put that fucking thing down before you hurt someone. So... The hell is that behind her? Is that grandma again? Where does Chris Hackett live? When he's not at camp, I mean. I will say this. It is much darker. Look this way. Look this way. Yeah, it is fairly dark for you compared to me. But it does look more like nighttime light. Than, like, mine looks more like a daytime yellowish light rather than a blue tone. Can I connect any more things? Does this mean if I would have had this, I would have been able to connect something to it? 
two of them, or three of them. Oh, I miss so many things. There's no comeback. I missed one here, too. I get the white whale, the original. What makes you think I know that? Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here? He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. I think that spooky house behind these woods. Dude! What? What house? Listen, there could be another way. Have you thought about that? I've spent the last month thinking about nothing else. Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? Don't forget about Nick, dude. Yeah, okay, this is a Freddy Krueger deal. The cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. I'm going with you. What? what? Uh... Yeah, what they said. I'm gonna show you that Chris Hackett has nothing to do with this. He wanted us to stay inside tonight. He wanted us safe. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you think. Me? Shut up. You shut up. Fine, do whatever you want. You saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. Everything's gonna be fine. That cop car you stole, where is it? Ditched in the lake. Why? It was a stolen cop car. You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan, get somewhere safe. How long do you have? An hour or two, I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going. Yeah, this is very Freddy Krueger, I'm calling it. The Hackett family, which I guess ran this whole area, burned down the freak show, and I killed the woman and her son, or killed her son, and they put a curse. Are you sure this is the right way? It's gonna be one of those kind of deals. Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty or definitely? You were just looking at it through a window. What do I look like, a tour guide? Have you actually been there before? I mean, no. Wait, seriously? I know as much as you do. You were just looking at it through a window. How no, have you no, lost sight of it, it? By walking towards it. Stretch pretty well. Like you're pretty sure we're going the right way? When I first came to camp, I was going through some personal shit. And Mr. H helped me sort it out. He's a good guy. You don't know him like I do. You don't know him at all. Okay, okay, jeez. Get your pet. You don't Why have you time like for this? this. Look, I don't think anybody knows anybody, not really. Well, I know Mr. H, and, and he never hurt any of us. Well, I know for a fact he's not the good guy you think he is. All he does is try to help people. That's what his whole camp is all about, to help the kids. Yeah, I don't doubt it. You know what I have to do, right? I know. But only if we can't talk to him. We can't find another way. She knows the other okay. way. The cops spelled it out for him. He obviously wasn't talking about the white whale being his brother. It means there's one out there that caused this. There That's what is. they're after. Your house. 
so he lives in some redneck mansion with his redneck family in the ass crack of the woods? Look at this place. No, but it's where his mom lives, I think. Never been there, but if we're looking for answers, it's probably the best place to start. So, uh, wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house? That's a really good question. Maybe we just don't. Great. Look, I understand Chris is your friend. If there was another way, I'd tell you. Sure. Yeah. Laura, Chris is a good man. This isn't about good and evil, Ryan. Just how can you be so certain? If I let my conscience slow me down now, everything gets a lot worse for everyone. Believe me, if there's another way, I'm all for it. You've heard of the other way. Oh, hey, where are you going? You're on the timer, remember? There must be another way across somewhere. Drive me insane. I got you. Careful, it's gonna go. <laughs> Got him. Good thing there's water. Why don't they all just go to the island, the people that Holy turn? Shit. Are you okay? Laura? It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. Oh my god, Laura. Jesus, Mary and Jazz hands. <laughs> Here's a thought. What are you doing? Relax. Look. Hey, the eye's back. Hope the guys you have, Grandma. No shit. Can you see yellow in my eyes? Oh, yeah. Define yellow. We haven't got much time. I am her again. Dive in the water. Blah, blah. <laughs> I knew there'd be something here. I also know I have to pee. Lunch. Oh, I'd love some food. I hope this doesn't take forever to get surgery if I need it. This must be part of the old working quarry. Makes sense. Good. What? I want to read this shit. God damn. Uh huh. At your services at headquarters are required. It's my intention to return the site and acquire to an area of natural beauty by flooding it and allowing the lake to form its place. We can have to make it premises. Continue to you and wish you well in all your future endeavors. Acceptance Hackett. I don't think he understands that. If he was keeping the place running, yeah, I'd believe he doesn't want to pay you. But the fact that he's going to spend a shitload of money to make an artificial river, to make an artificial lake, shows he's not exactly tight. One thing I will say, it's not so much I get tired of these kind of games. It's that as much as I like these kind of adventure, you know, choose your own horror stuff. I get a little bored not being able to do much. Like, the camera's always clunky. Like, right now, it's further away than it's been in the beginning of the game. And I can see stuff. That's great. But I miss, like, beating up bad guys and big set pieces. It's always really dark and hard to see. You know, give me a daytime one. These must have been from the quarry days. No doubt. No one's been down here for years. Get the powers on. You know, 
Okay, I'm not the biggest SCP fan, mainly because I don't know it. But, uh... Like, it's a really cool thing, the SCP... What do they call them? Files? Archives? About all these different creatures and phenomena and shit. I would love for there to be a game series or a show series that's not, you know, straight up, ah, oh, spooky, but it's... What's the word? Clinical look? Where it shows you them and, like, how they found it, how they're containing it, that kind of stuff. Like, uh... Oh, let me think. I don't know what it's called. I'm gonna be honest. Also, where is this comparatively? It's way over here. Okay. Uh, there's one that I think it's just called the Leviathan. I don't remember the name of it, but it's like this unbelievably large creature deep in the ocean that like barely eats or something. And I think the containment thing is they send a sub down with something to feed it every so often so that it doesn't leave that cavern. You know, they'll feed it, it'll go back to doing whatever it does in its cavern, kind of sleeping or whatever it's doing. And it doesn't cause any problems for the rest of the world. It'd be cool to have that in like a clinical, not horror movie version where you still get the big reveal of the creature, but it's not like jump scare, ah... It's more of a, a moment of wonder. And it'd be cool to have a series about that. I mean, yeah, sure. A lot of the stuff can be done horror-wise and scary. But I would like to see... The, I, I don't know where I'm going with this rant. Basically, I would love some kind of creature, feature, horror, monster thing. Did you hear that, too? It's her. There's Grandma. Yeah. The hag. The hag gets quarried. It's like she's warning us off. I want to be able to see it. You know, in my opinion, that's the mark of the greatest horror creatures. If they let you see it and be scared of it. Shit. Did anyone heard that? No, they can't have done. This place is not up to code. No shit. I mean, if the code is literally crumbling to the ground, then I think it's doing fine. Let's just keep moving. Yeah. Careful. Jeez. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, she has time for this? I could use a good example. Jaws works at being scary because you didn't see much of it. And that's because you could just turn on, like, Discovery Channel on Shark Week and look at sharks swimming around and attacking stuff and not be scared. That doesn't work for a horror movie. But if you put on a VR headset and see how big an actual shark can be in person, it becomes a lot more terrifying. Just look at this place. Yes, we get it. To use a movie reference... It's why parts of the Meg are scary. Oh. <laughs> the smile. Why is she getting bloody? I could really do with a hamburger right about now. Stop being weird. <laughs> uh, first off, you know that's what happens when they start changing but yeah like the Meg you have the moment where the girl is playing with her little remote control toy and it's not a jump scare at this point it just shows you the shark there and how big it is compared to a person and it chomps down on the tube that's horrifying because it's massive oh boy this is high yeah whoa that's what makes it scary, seeing the scale of it, how, seeing how unbelievably large something is. Do it's you got think hair on it. actually something is in here with us? I do now. Either that or this route isn't as disused as we thought. That's gross. Ugh. 
still got hair on it too. Maybe they're stuck. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I would love for there to be a game that has like something really scary that takes place during the day. I don't know. Another example would be the recording I regret never worked. The Batman Arkham VR game. I'm taking a drink. It had its moment where it was kind of a horror movie. When you're in the sewers with Killer Croc. But to me personally, it was when you can go in and look at the character models for like Harley Quinn and the Joker. And when you do Killer Croc, he is massive. And to just stand there and look up at him as he's eyeing you down is so scary. Well, first cave out. <laughs> look who's finding their funny bone. It's just so scary to look at how big and menacing Killer Croc is. So what's your deal then? What do you mean? The whole mysterious brooding loner thing, it doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe. You don't have time for so this. So I don't fit into the right box, is that what you're saying? You know that's not what I mean. I've been coming here for years. You get to know a place and it feels like a second home, you know? I mean, until now. What about your friend, uh, Caitlin? Is that her name? It seems like she looks up to you. Yeah, she she has the hots for me. Dylan does too. Oh, modesty, thy name is. <laughs> I'm not being smug about it. It's just a fact. They're not exactly secretive about it. So what about you? Who do you like more? I don't know. I'd go Caitlyn just because no. Dylan pissed me off in the beginning <laughs> and I wanted him dead. He was the one I said I, I know I want to die first, right? This way. I can't this remember. Way. I think it was either Dylan or Nick. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, ah, they need to or go you first. Can just hang out here. Up to you. Also, her eyes aren't yellow Someone's anymore. Eating their spinach. So. You want to go into the collapsing nightmare tunnel first, or shall I? I thought she was going to fall. A person with gun will go in the direction we don't know if it's safe or not. Never mind, there he goes. Yeah, I don't know. It's I know it's hard to do horror in brightly lit stuff, but I think... In terms of a game, it can be done. You need like real survival horror. Looks promising. Okay. Which oddly enough brings up my second thought. Well, second thought. I just thought of this when I said survival horror. I like survival horror in terms of like the way Resident Evil kind of does it with, uh, especially 7 and 8, where it's like you're kind of thrown in the deep end. Everything is scary. Everything is dangerous. You don't know what you're doing. You don't know where you're going. You have very little ammo, very weak guns. And then by the end, you're able to hold your own because naturally, the longer you play a game, the less scared are you going to be of the monster or the creatures. That's not a real big surprise but I think if they could do and I'd say Resident Evil just because of its history if they could do like a Dying Light sort of Dead Rising what's this? Careful, splinters Thanks, I'm fine Guess we found the party Alcohol and Prohibition these are run running tunnels. That would make that liquor almost a hundred years old. Probably still good. Good. Try vintage. That's not how that works. Well, I guess the hackets were bootleggers. They have That's to be nice. in the barrel. I guess when the cores are done, they branched out. Come on. Time travel later. Okay, 
anyway. I say also Resident Evil because Dying Light, I don't want an open world with like tons of side quests and all. I'd like there to be a few to make it interesting. But I mean, imagine being in Raccoon City and the only places you can get ammo is either to walk back to the gun shop or find cop cars or police officer zombies. And there'll be like a few resident houses you can go in that might or might not have some. But it's not like it's limited in the gun shops at all. There's a lot there. But just that idea that you can run out of ammo in a very bad place and then have to get back and find ammo with that kind of tension with zombies and all. But have it be very story focused. I would enjoy that. I would also love for them to go back to Raccoon City. Like, have it be that something survived the blast and has been there changing all this time. But that could work for that open world type of thing. We are there to investigate what's going on, hit places from the series before, and, like, end up at the Spencer Mansion. For some reason. Uh, what the hell happened here? What do you mean? Uh, that's kind of my bad. Had a bit of a tumble with one of the locals. The fuck, Caitlin? This place is wrecked. <laughs> just He's just the other it. guy. You just ran away. What do you think happened to Jacob and Emma? Probably nothing. Hopefully. Jacob I mean, should we go cage. find them? Warn them? I think the safest thing, the most responsible thing, is to try and get help. Right. And then we can come back for them. And Nick. And Nick. Hello. Now that we're just standing here. I feel like I've known a lot of Abbeys in my day. It's Wait. like her style. Why are they outside? Hi. Oh yeah, Emma's there. Is there, is there something in there? Emma is. Know. What is it? Uh... Jacob? Emma? Are they... Should I open it up? Wait. Know, buddy. See, this doesn't make sense. I know it's her. There'd be more blood and all if she got attacked. So why is she making the van rock so much and not answering? <laughs> She was sitting right there. She makes me. She makes me. Oh. Hey, hey, it's us. Oh, oh shit. She, such a, she was sitting oh. there the whole time, and nobody can see her. I'm so sorry, Dylan. I am so so sorry. Oh, I didn't know it was you. I was really Dylan. scared, and I thought it's not Mace. What? Air freshener. Oh. Yeah. It's all I could find in the van. Okay. Good thing it wasn't bear mace. That could mess you up badly. So she was in the police station this whole time? Insane, right? This whole time, we were having such a fun summer. We never knew. Jeez. Okay. Can you fix it? No. Hmm. Oh. Not without some parts. Specifically, a rotor arm. There's a scrapyard up the road. So you can fix it. Well, no promises, but there's hope. That's where we're going to find it. It sounds like a long shot. Dylan, Again, these on. are bad choices. We need you. We need you. Fine. Okay. Once again, Dylan puts himself in mortal danger for the sake of his work friends. What's what exactly plan B? What supposed to do? I mean, the van is nice, but it's not exactly Fort Knox. Well, there's a shelter under the lodge. You could be safe there for a while. All right. Abby, you're with me. Good luck.
I don't know what time it is. Yeah, that's normal. Where's the blood in her face come from? What was that? Huh? What was that? Oh, it's Oh, it's nothing. We got, we got guests downstairs. We don't want any more blood on our hands. I know her. I've seen her in movies. Yellow's gone from her eyes. Again. Okay. I'm gonna end this one here. We will find the werewolf room in a minute. But, uh... For now, I'm gonna thank so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy it, hit the like button. Subscribe for more. Helps me out a lot. And as always, we're on the way. But until then, I hope you have a good one.